Hello everybody. Welcome back to Maddie's Kitchen. Today I'll be making old fashioned cornbread with honey and buttermilk. My dry ingredients are, this is two, a cup of plain cornmeal. I'm gonna put it in the bowl. Okay. A teaspoon of salt. tablespoon of baking powder, okay. sugar, just a little sugar, just a little bit, I just sprinkle a little bit over here, and flour. Now this is optional, but I use flour so the meal won't be so coarse. Put just a little flour in there, you don't have to, but I do. Okay. Okay, now my wet ingredients are, I put a little butter in there, melted butter. I, this it was a stick, but I'm not gonna put all that in there. Put some melted butter in there, not that much. Okay, so put that aside. And then I'm gonna use two eggs, medium sized eggs. I'm going to beat them a little bit. Some people don't beat it, but I'm just going to beat it a little bit, make it easier. Pour that in there. Then I'm going to start with my milk. I'm going to use uh, one and three. I'm going to use one cup of milk first, and I'm going to see how, how wet it is. It's buttermilk. it in here. Okay, and I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. So you can tell that I need a little bit more milk. Put some milk in here. Just a little bit. That's about enough. And if you if you pour too much, you can always add a little bit more meal to it to make it just like you want it to be. Okay. Then I'm gonna add my oil. This is just a cooking oil. Some oil in there. Stir that up some. You can tell it's going to be good because it's so light and fluffy. Last but not least is my honey because it's called Honey Baked Buttermilk Cornbread. Some honey in there. I'm gonna put, uh, I like honey because it's going it's to make it really good. So I'm going to stir this up. Good to go. A little bit just a tap for the honey, honey lovers. Okay. Okay, when I put in this cornbread, my dry ingredients were, uh, I had a plain meal, a cup, uh, or two cups of plain meal. I used uh, salt, a teaspoon of salt tablespoon of baking soda, and I also had uh, some sugar. That's what that, that was my dry ingredients. Now the, my wet was the buttermilk, the butter, and the honey, and the eggs. Of course, I had two eggs. Okay, I'm getting ready to uh, add the cornbread, put the cornbread in the pan. I spray mine with a little pan, just spray it a little bit so it won't stick, but just a little bit all around the edges. And I also add just a little oil too to it, just a little oil. Okay. 
Just a little bit in the pan. And shake it so you get all of it even. Kind of get it even in the pan. Okay, this is a good pan to use. The, the stainless steel pan, the heavy duty, it cooks bread very well. So I'm getting ready to pour the meal into the bread and into the pan. Two cups I used was enough. So it's almost like this. Make sure you take all of it out. And I had preheated my oven to 350. Okay. And shake this good. And this should make about the pan should be almost full top of the pan with this much in. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the oven and I'm gonna let it bake for about 30, it's gonna bake all together about 30 minutes, but I'm gonna check it in 15 minutes to see how much cooking time I got. I get, it's up to your oven. Sometimes it might cook 25, 30, or even 35 minutes, but it's up to your oven, but make sure after 15 minutes you check it. Okay, it's been in the oven for 15 minutes. Side looking, I get, I'll give it another 10 minutes. It's perfect, but one thing about cornbread, you have to let it cool off about 15 to 20 minutes before you cut it because if you don't, it'll break up. So I'm gonna give this about 15 minutes to cool and we're gonna cut it. Okay, the cornbread is cooled down, it's ready to cut. And how I start cutting, I take and go now, I do a three. I think I get about nine pieces out of here. I'm cutting this in. So I get three little rolls. Cut it again so that's kind of even. And I turn the pan like this and I cut it again like this. These are servings. These are kind of big servings, but this is what everybody likes. And I'm going to cut it again like that. Three, six, nine. Okay, I'm going to mic the. Okay, 36, 9, 12. I should have, they kind of uneven, but it doesn't matter. It's going to taste good. Okay, what I do is now, for to make the cornbread look good, like it looks just like, you know, a perfect shape, I go down, I go in the middle. I don't start on the edges. And I do just like this on each side. I take it and cut it, and I try to lift it up. See, that comes up really good. Some of it might stick sometime. You might get a little piece. But see, this one came out perfect, see? See how light it looks? That's some good cornbread. I'm gonna put it in one of these plates. Put this one in this bowl. And then another piece, and I'm gonna put this one. It's so tender, I mean, so, so good, like cake. Put this one here, okay? I'm gonna give you three dishes, okay? Some people take and just, I'm gonna put butter on, the, on top of all of them, just a little butter. A little butter. A little butter. And a little butter, okay? What I'm gonna do is one of them, I'm gonna take and add in this bowl right here. Have you ever had a, had your grandparents eat buttermilk and cornbread, but it's hot. Don't try it with nobody else's cornbread. If you're gonna eat buttermilk and cornbread, try it with my cornbread, cause it tastes so good. So I'm gonna put the buttermilk on top of it. That's why some people used to eat it. Now me, I eat mine like this right here. It's a shame. I have to put some syrup on it, and it's so good. I put the syrup on top of here. That is so good. And this is just a plain cornbread that you can eat with beans, you can eat it with rice, you can eat it with greens, you can eat it with chicken. Fish would be really good, fish to have this cornbread. So I got three types. I got buttermilk and cornbread. I got syrup over mine, but I, I eat this with chicken, some fried good chicken wings. And this is just with a dish. I'm 
taste all three of them. I'm going to taste first. I'm going to start with the buttermilk. Mm. Mm. That's good. I know you all, a lot of y'all haven't eaten this before, but buttermilk and cornbread is good. And it's some good cornbread. Mmm. I can eat the whole pan. Mm hmm And I'm gonna try this with uh this is just a side dish, butter and cornbread. You eat this with anything. Tastes like jiffy, but better. And this is my favorite. With that syrup on it. Mmm. That's good. Maddy old fashioned cornbread. Please, y'all subscribe to my channel. Please, Maddy Kitchen. And, and hit that notification bell when, a new, when I do a new video. You'll be notified. Thank you very much.